So we've arrived in Prague and we are already doing... Um... Okay, so where are we here? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so typical of me, so I didn't know exactly where we were. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, thanks for watching. So we went to Prague for, uh, for a week and uh, we thoroughly enjoyed our holiday. Although the weather wasn't great, it didn't rain, so we were able to go out every day and explore the city. Prague is very beautiful, there is a lot to do and a lot to see, however, it is a very expensive city, so you won't pay less than 20 euros for a small souvenir. On a separate note, uh, thank you so much for clicking on my video. And uh, if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. <laughs> This is how the uh, kitchen is at the moment, real life. Still have these herbs here uh, drying and um, what is it on the floor? So I've got my vegetable uh, box, which arrived today. And uh, here on this side, you can see that it's very messy as well. The cooker needs cleaning. Um, it looks very greasy and a stuffed wash but okay just putting the lights on um, it doesn't look as bad as the uh, kitchen and my bedroom however it needs cleaning as well because I've got white floors um, they get dirty very easily and uh, you can see every hair that drops on the floor as well so it's a nightmare I need to vacuum it vacuum the floors every day on a run from my given disaster speed away from the holy mind pride that's where I never thought it would matter if I'm going guys i would like to say a big thank you for those of you who have recently subscribed to my channel and if you're new here i would like to say a massive thank you for clicking on my video and let me introduce myself to you my name is solange but my close friends call me solita and my colleagues at work call me sol which means sun in english i'm from portugal but i kind of grew up in the uk to be more specific in london so, this channel is about cleaning, organizing, I love interior design, I love um, buy things for myself and for the house, I, I guess it's like, you know, everybody else, <laughs> uh, but I, I'm a completely obsessed with Zara Home, I love uh, antique, look at the difference, antique, Zara Home, <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I can be like that. And um, I'm also obsessed with Dyson, with Smeg, with KitchenAid. I like all these brands and uh, I love traveling. I've been on holidays about four times this year so far. Yeah, <laughs> I managed to do it. But you got me good, you got me good. I keep on trying to defend, still it feels like I pretend. Keep on driving and driving along the road.
guys, I absolutely love this uh, Joseph Joseph dish rack. It is so practical. Once you have finished using it, you can simply just store it away in your cupboards and it doesn't take up much space. I love it so much. Me with the rest, cause I'm a mess. No more you. sink looks very tiny in the video I don't know why that is but it is not that tiny <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know what's going on here <laughs> don't, don't, don't.
stick it to you. because I wanted to show you so the kitchen is looking a bit more presentable now so I've washed my veggies I haven't prepped them yet I'll do it later on um, and um, what I'm doing here I'm steaming the broccoli because I find it that if I leave it in the fridge um, it just goes off for some reason so I just prefer to just steam it and then leave it ready to be um, to be eaten you know just leave it in the fridge I put it in a, in a container or I can also put it in the freezer and uh, in that way we are not throwing food away so explain to you the situation regarding this small table in my hallway so basically in England a lot of houses do not have a separate dining room okay and I'm talking specifically about England because this is my reference this is where I live I'm not referring to Scotland I'm not referring to Wales or Ireland okay I have lived in several different properties in England and none of them had a dining, a separate dining room. I have been to other people's houses as well and the, the situation is exactly the same. Whenever you see videos or films where, you know, people have a nice open plan kitchen, that is not the reality, okay? These, if you wanna, most of these houses with open plan kitchens, um, these areas they were built after uh, people bought their properties 
because this is what I'm planning to do as well. We are building a conservatory completely from scratch, which is gonna be off the kitchen. So we're gonna have a conservatory where we're gonna pop our dining table. But this is, is not gonna be um, um, f now, it's not gonna be next year, it's gonna take us a, at least a good two years before we start, we start really considering our concert building a conservatory okay so obviously we had to come up with a solution and then this is what we found that is working for us so this table folds away as well so if we don't want to have it as it is we can just you know fold it and leave it in the corner and it's actually made has made a massive difference because we we are actually enjoying you know sitting down and having our meals together you know? These bags on the floor, they are blocks of salt. We just got it delivered. Uh, we live in an area of the UK where the uh, water is hard. So we have a um, water softener machine. So we have to pop these blocks of salt in the machine every month because, you know, the machine filters the water in the house. As long as I got the living room is nice and picked up, so the sofa and um, I put some logs here just because um, I'm gonna light the fire later on and uh, we got this from Czech Republic we saw this antique shop selling nice antique um, we are we really look for these things when you go on holiday, when you go abroad. So this is from the uh, 19th century and um, it's from um, Czech Republic and it's really nice. So this is my baby now. And uh, we also got this painting from Prague as well. So I collect paintings from other countries. So. This is going to be my gallery wall. I've got more pictures in my bedroom, but I haven't put them up yet, but I will eventually. And then this is the uh, bridge. If you've been to Prague, you know, you recognize this bridge. It's very nice. But our trails will never run forever. of today's video guys i really hope you have enjoyed it thank you so much for your company and see you in the next one bye